What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to do something that I forgot to do in the last video. So when I updated the firmware on my bid axis, I did not update the uh, www.bin, which is apparently the web GUI interface. So that's why nothing looked different and I was super surprised. And then people are like, yeah, you did it wrong. And I'm like, oh, okay. So anyway, we're gonna go do that now. This one's not up and running because I just put some heat sinks on it, but one of my others is. So let's flip over here to the other screen. And, all right, so there we are right now. And you're gonna wanna go to settings. And then uh, just like before, current version, we are on the current one, but you can check and ESP-miner.bin is where you update your firmware right here. So you download that and click right there. And then over here behind my head, let me move my head out of the way. Um, you're gonna download the www.bin and then you're gonna click on browse for update website and that's www.bin. Browse that and then you're gonna go to your downloads and look for the www.bin. Hit up, uh, yeah hit upload on that or open. It's gonna do some working right here. It's counting down, or it's counting up. 3, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100%. And successful website has been updated. And look at this, now it's looking different. So frequency display. Oh, you can put in that if you have different kind of displays. So that's pretty cool. Rotation. Oh, you can rotate the screen if you want to. Let me move my, my head back over here. There we go. Um, data logging, you can turn on or on or on or off. You can invert the display. Sleep, always on or sleep, always off. We'll leave, we'll leave sleep always on, I guess. Or you know what? I don't want it to sleep. We'll save that. Automatic fan control. Let's not do that. Theme. What do we got? Oh, dark and light. Orange. Red. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. What else? Oh, there's a net there's a separate section for updating now. So interesting. There's a Bitcoin white paper. A uh, link directly to the Bitcoin white paper. Um network pool information. Show advanced options, suggested difficulty. Used to indicate a preference for share difficulty to the pool. Servers are not required to honor this request, even if they support the strata method. Oh, so you can uh, do your own locked difficulty. That's nice because a lot of pools don't like lower hash rate machines on there. Um, now going up here to system, okay, logs, Swarm that shows your other devices on board and then dashboard everything else is looking pretty similar we Failed to get info Oh, that's from a that's a different bid axe. Never mind. This one's still operating well, so Shows the power input voltage ASIC frequency temperature voltage regulator temperature um, Yeah, okay uh, Oh, it shows the Wi-Fi up here and restart what's this oh that just hides that screen i like it okay so now our web interface gui is updated that's simple and it's better it doesn't really have like that much but it just it just does a better it seems like it does a better job um oh it out we also now have the expected hash rate so that's cool uh, so the settings that we put in our expected hash rate should be 1.43 right now our average is 1.38 So we'll let this run for a little while. I'm doing some some overclocking, but that's gonna be for another video But anyway guys, thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate it This one is solo mining Bitcoin and I am solo mining Bitcoin over at the jellyfish solo mining pool So if you want to come join us and try to get that solo block together um, you can come over there. It is, I believe it's just, yeah, btc.jellyfc.com. 
I'll also put a link down below in the description. We have 59 miners online, uh, only about 35 terahash, but we are nerd miner and bidax friendly. We have separate ports um, that allow for all different kinds of difficulties. So nerd miners, ASICs, bid axes, and then high difficulty rentals if you want to do a high difficulty rental on there. But with that being said, I hope y'all have a good one and I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.